All right, guys, something big has happened on ICP. We're going to go through the ICP chart first and see what's going on. But there's something big. I told you guys there's a big project coming on ICP, man. And they just put their offering in, uh, the proposal in. I mean, my God, guys, this is revolutionary about what we're about to see. You thought ICP was doing great. You better watch yourselves. There's big things. Big, I mean, big things about to happen. People are starting to figure it out, man. They're starting to figure it out. You're looking at this burn rate cycle, guys. It has stayed consistent. The price of ICP, to me, this chart, look, lower lows each time, lower lows. And now it's stopping around $8. Won't go below it. I mean, this is heading higher, my opinion. This is, this is a great looking chart. It's very similar to this chart back here. And then it went boop. Remember this chart? This was very nice. This is setting us up. I think we're going to go way past this $19, $20 that we had. This is a beautiful, beautiful consolidation, beautiful setup. But what's even better about all this is this. The cycle burn rates and the burning of the tokens continues. We're seeing this continue. It's not stopping. We're starting to see the burn constantly every day. Thousands and thousands of tokens. Even if it's two or 3,000, it's okay. Brand new highs of CK, uh, Chainlink, uh, sorry, not Chain, Chainkey Ethereum and Chainkey Bitcoin. And by the way, this project I'm going to bring up to you guys. It is going to blow up ICP to the whole next level. You guys got to go back and support these guys and get them on the launch pad because if they come, the amount of Bitcoin, chain key Bitcoin on the network is going to go. You see this chart right here? It's cute, right? It's going to go. It's just going to go straight up. It's going to moon because look at what happened here. The burn rate. Remember the burn rate? Look at the burn rate. Boom. This is what's going to happen at Chinky Bitcoin if this project, I'm bringing it up to you guys in a second. Okay, we're going to talk about Bob and we're going to talk about Burn because I'm going to tell you what I'm doing there also. There's a lot to cover on ICP. Let me tell you something. I have never been so bullish. The cycle burn rate, guys, I mean, it's literally hundreds of times what it was just a month ago. I mean, his chart is ridiculous. Look at this. Look at this. 17 billion now daily we're just hanging around 400 billion casually and and burning thousands of thousands of tokens i mean this is insanity this is insanity this is so bullish that i don't even know what to say anymore i was waiting for this burn rate to slow down or something and it has slowed down a little bit but it looks like on the worst day we're still burning 4000 5000 tokens 3000 4000 i mean this thing is incredible. Okay. Some people are saying we need to be at 2 trillion to make it 2 trillion burn cycles to make it deflationary. I mean, maybe, I mean, it could be less than that from what it looks like here, but it's looking, it's looking fantastic. I mean, if you look at the seven day, we're just holding beautifully. And there's times we jump up to one and 2 trillion, the projects that are coming on ICP and the development that's going on, we could be at that 1 trillion, 2 trillion, even 5 trillion in a couple months of burn cycles, man. This is insanity. So let's talk about what else are we going to talk about? So that's the price. Okay. I want to talk about this. I'll talk about burn and then Bob, and we're going to go to this project. First of all, burn. I've actually picked up some, not much, $50, $100 at a time. I'm not mining it. I'm just buying it because, you know, mining comes some risk. I think it's going to bottom out if the halving has just taken place. It's looked like it bottom out. It's working like kind of like Bitcoin in a way. You know, when it first halving, second halving, and the halvings are coming quick on this. I like what Burn is doing, frankly. 200,000 market cap, it's looking it's looking all right. I'm buying little bits. I'm not putting too much into it. And then Bob, Bob's half cycle halving comes, I think, a little bit later. It's It doesn't happen right away. So you might still get some down, 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 a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, but it's not bad. $530,000 market cap. At some point, it's going to find its support and it's going to come up, which it looks like around the 17 cents, 20 cents it did. And it went all the way up to 40 something cents. So I'm going to keep an eye out for Bob. I think there's some places we can do some quick flips with both Bob and burn. And that's what I'm doing. Kind of setting myself up. I'm grabbing myself some Bob. I'm grabbing myself some burn. And I think there might be a place. The beautiful thing with both of them is look, they are both paired up with ICP token. So as the ICP token pool goes up, well, the ICP will port, force the price of both Burn and Bob upwards. Okay, see it's pooled with 3,000. Other one is pooled with five, uh, about 700 ICP. So that gives you an idea. Now let's talk about this project, which you guys should go. I'll put the link in here. This is the overview of MindPro. MindPro is 
great what they've done. And I'm going to talk about the launch pad also on ICP. The launch pad, guys, this launch pad, more I've looked into it, is an absolute revolution. Okay. I've known I've known this launch pad was really good, but I just didn't really realize how profound it was. Okay. I didn't really realize because I started looking deeper and deeper into things. And I started looking deeper and deeper into how it works and how it controls things. Basically, all of these projects that are coming onto the ICP uh, launch pad are controlled by a real DAO. So even though, for example, Mind Pro, which is coming out on this DAO, all the money is going to be controlled by us as the community. And we kind of get to decide what they're, they're going to propose, what they're going to do. But we ultimately have the say, which to me, this is incredible. This is the first time we get to kind of control a mining project. And not only are they going to be mining BTC that we get the rewards from, which we'll get into in CK BTC, chain, uh, chain key BTC, but they're also going to be mining projects like Bob and Burn. So think about it this way. You have a project that's going to be mining Bitcoin, giving you rewards in Bitcoin. And on the side with some of the funds, a smaller amount of the funds, 10 or 20% of the funds, it's going to be also helping the ICP ecosystem. And if they raise what they're trying to raise, that could mean hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars, could be pouring into all of these projects that are backing up ICP. This is huge. In fact, it's so huge that Definity, look at this. I don't know who Jennifer Tran is at Definity Team. Asked a question. Sounds quite interesting. Do you have a launch date? Do you have any other information? I've never seen this. I've never seen the Definity Team within a couple, of, I think within four hours of this post. It took the first question on Water Neuron, which raised like a huge amount of money, four days before anyone asked the question. The Definity Team asked the question immediately. That means they're seeing the potential here. And for one, what I know, they've spoken to the Definity team and they like the project. They're partnered with Bitfinity and Loca Mining. I mean, these guys are coming guns blazing and we'll go through it. I mean, I, I read this whole thing. I'm going to summarize it for you. I'm going to put the link down here for you guys so you guys can read it. But basically, this is it. The mine token is going to be used to mine. They're, uh, they're mining in Alberta, Canada for two cents a kilowatt hour. Okay. And then... They have a partnership with Loca Mining, the first decentralized mining pool on ICP. So it's all decentralized. You get to see it. You guys don't understand. They're making a decentralized Bitcoin mining operation and pools. Everything is transparent. And as the DAO controls the funds and everything, even the voting, we can vote on how we want to change things, how we want to use the funds. If we find a project, for example, on ICP, like the next Bob or the next Burn or something big, we can tell them, we want you to mine this. We can make a proposal. We want you to mine this with $100,000, with $50,000, and they'll do it. This is the great, this is huge for the ICP community. This project, if it raises enough money, five or $10 million, who knows? A lot of the projects have been raising pretty big amounts of money. So like Water Neuron did incredible and Gold Dow did incredible. I mean, 5 million plus each. So if they can raise enough money, holy cow, we can go to the whole next level. Be mining Bitcoin, getting chain key. This number right here, chain key Bitcoin is going to go. And then all this liquidity, think about it, all this liquidity is going to be an ICP, meaning they're going to take this and they're going to buy other ICP projects, reinvest it into mine pro if they want they can compound it they can do all sorts of stuff this is the kind of projects that are real world asset this is a real world asset and also i looked at their thirty six thousand followers okay these are real followers okay by the way i looked at all this stats these guys are doing great already okay so basically the they're getting two cents a kilowatt in alberta canada using flare gas and they're going to be getting returns between 8 to 15%, depending on the price of Bitcoin, just on the investment. Now, where this gets really interesting is how they've used game theory. They've taken it to the whole next level. And we're going to go down here. The tokenization, basically, it's a real-world asset that they've tokenized on BTC, made a DAO around it, meaning we're in control. We're in control helping them decide what to do with the treasury, how to invest it, how to do stuff, okay? But we're basically using basically industrial uh, you could say enterprise level industrial, uh, in, I should say institutional power because you can't go mine BTC right now. You need to be around seven cents to eight cents to just make a small profit. These guys are at two cents. Look at this. They even said here with an ant miner S21, if you're at 15 cents a kilowatt hour, you're going to lose $105 a month. 
So you need to have very low power rate. And this is the average in the United States, about 15 cents. You can't mine Bitcoin in the United States. You need to go use flare gas or have like hydropower, stuff of that nature. These guys have figured it out. They're bringing institutional power at two cents a kilowatt to the investors here, which is incredible. Now, let's keep going. So it has a it has a sell tax. So every time someone sells their mine tokens as a sell tax, meaning the token is deflationary. So as people get out, you're getting more of the Bitcoin rewards. You understand how big this is? It's like leveraging Bitcoin as people buy and sell. Basically, if you just hold your rewards of the entire pool of these Bitcoin miners, let's say they have a thousand Bitcoin miners, you get more and more and more of a percentage over time as people are buying, selling and getting out in and out. So there's thinking the APRs on stake mine is roughly 8 to 15% a month paid in chain key Bitcoin. This is variable. They give you the reasons. But now this is where it gets interesting. This is what I love right here. This is all about game theory right here. The proposed durations. You have to stake your tokens to get the chain key Bitcoin. You could do 30 days, 90 days, 100 days, one year, two year, five year. Look at the multipliers. 1x, 2x, 5x, 10x, 20x, 50x. What I think is going to happen is this. This is what the smart money are going to do. They are going to they are going to stake for 20 for 2 years and 5 years. As the price of Bitcoin goes up and the rewards go up, okay? They're going to get most of those rewards. It's going to go to the 2 well, actually the 1 year too, the 2 year and the 5 year. Once they get all and once the price of Bitcoin goes up, the price of the mine token should go up with it theoretically, right? Then they're going to make an absolute killing. It is like leveraging Bitcoin. This five or ten percent, uh, sorry, eight to fifteen percent a month in rewards is going to look like twenty or thirty percent. They might even break even after the first couple of months because if you do the fifty x multiplier, a lot of people are doing the two year and the one year. You might be getting twenty thirty percent return rate. If you're getting that high of a return rate, it just takes a couple months. And then the price of the token might explode. Guess what you're going to do? You're going to unstake and you're going to sell your token. Guess what's going to happen? 70% unstake fee. You won't care because you've already made your money. This is just extra money for you. And you might even come back later on and rebuy the token and stake it again. Who knows? So, or try to buy it at a lower price. So if you understand game theory, there's a potential, let's say there's a million, I think there's 400 million tokens. There's a potential they could end up burning hundreds of millions of tokens within the first year alone. Meaning the people that just stick long-term into this project and don't care about the fluctuations could end up getting more of the pool, especially with the expectations of Bitcoin going to 100,000, 150,000, maybe $200,000. The profitability of this project is more than just buying Bitcoin. It's a way to leverage Bitcoin to the whole next level. There are obviously risks involved. It's not risk-free, but this project is the type of project you want to see. And they're giving back 90% of all the distribution back to the stakers, which is absolutely freaking huge. So uh, I went through this whole thing. I'm gonna link it down for you guys. And they say why they're picking, uh, why they're picking ICP. I think the chain link Bitcoin really helps them. Real world assets. I mean, all the long term vision stuff. It is absolutely great. They talk about their Twitter, Discord. I looked at all this. This looks like they have a hundred thousand followers. All legitimate followers, by the way. No bots. These guys are the real deal. They're trying to raise minimum 250,000 ICP and a maximum of 850,000 ICP. It's about 2 million or about 2 to $7 million range. I think they're going to get the 850 because this is the kind of project ICP and all the VCs on ICP and everyone's backing up. Bitfinity, Dip, uh, Bitfinity is backing them. Locomina is backing them. I believe the Dipfinity guys are probably going to be backing them too. Everyone is, this is the kind of project that goes takes ICP from here to a real world asset. And this is a kind of project that can scale. Meaning if this is a success, they can come out with mine pro two, mine pro three, raise another 10 million, bring all the Bitcoin miners over to ICP. Think what that would do to the price and also mine all these other tokens with the money they're making. If they raise 850,000 ICP and they use a hundred thousand of that ICP, think about it to go after burn and Bob and all these new projects. What do you think the cycle burn rate is going to be? This is the kind of project that changes everything. It gives the whole entire community, the whole ICP, it takes it from here to here. It brings us liquidity in chain key Bitcoin. It brings us, it brings backing to all these smaller projects that, Hey, every time you launch, there's going to be somebody who's going to come in with five or 10,000 
ICP to back you up on all these other, this burn cycles, you want these burn cycles to get to one to two trillion? You want ICP to explode? You want everyone to know about it? These are the type of revolutionary projects we need to back. And that's why when I saw this, I spoke to the team and I even asked them why they want to go on ICP uh, and all that stuff. And by the way, this is a very stringent process. This is very, very stringent. Like Goldow, you know, for example, you got to vote on everything. I own Goldow. So you got to vote on all of this stuff. Everything has to be voted on. So they can't move. This is a very, this, this launch pad isn't for the faint of heart. They are willing to go through the extra transparency that is necessary to be on this launch pad. And that's why there are no projects on the launch pad for the last couple of weeks because it's really, really hard. I spoke to them about it. They said, it's a really long process. It's really hard. They got to post this for two weeks, which is this for two weeks. And then we get to review it. We get to ask questions. Like you see Jennifer Tran here. She's asking them some questions. You guys should ask some questions too. And then after that, they're going to make the proposal to get onto the launch pad. And then after that, after we all vote, then they get to go on the launch pad and then things get cooking. But this is the kind of project, real world assets, real world projects that I'm excited about that can take ICP from $8.40 and add a fucking zero to it. That can happen. These are the type of kind of breakaway revolutionary projects because all this Bitcoin, all this liquidity, all of the supporting of the ICP network, this is what we need, projects like this. And this can take us to the next bullish level. These are the kind of things that I love to see. So I'm super excited. Um, I believe there's more projects coming. Some of them are talking to me. They're hitting me up. So I'm really grateful that people are finding my uh, YouTube channel. So make sure to click like and subscribe because more people hit me up. I'm going to be able to bring you more of these projects. Uh, I'll be the first one to know, but make sure to go there and give them support. Tell them you love it. Tell them this is great. Read this. Okay. Give them support. Give them love. We need more projects like this. More real world assets can take ICP from where we are today to the whole next level. This is what we need, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, thanks for listening and let's, let's get it, man. I'm excited about the future of ICP. Take care guys.